hi guys welcome to our channel today we are going to be discussing the most apt topic why would a man ghost you in an online long distance relationship if you've been in an online long distance relationship you will notice that sometimes you might be talking to some people you think the relationship is going on well and after investing three months six months or even one year of your time talking to this person they will just disappear and ghost you there was no fight there was nothing but they just stopped talking to you and by that time you were already emotional attached to this person and you feel a bit discouraged and devastated as that as at that time before you move on to be with the next person and have you wondered some practical ways you can prevent this from happening in your subsequent relationship how to keep him interested in the relationship even if you're in a long distance relationship to avoid him ghosting you today we are going to be discussing some of all of these tips ways you can spice things up in your relationship so it doesn't just ghost you out of the blue the first tip we are going to be discussing is keep him interested the first tip we are going to be discussing is for you to keep him involved in things happening to you if you're in a long distance relationship you know there's already that void because you're not in a physical relationship in a physical relationship you get to be with them you get to go out on a date together cook together you get to spend quality times together take pictures together create memories together however if you're in a long distance relationship all of these things are missing and especially if you're in a relationship with someone that values quality time and also someone that their love language is spending time together or physical touch that's really going to be a struggle for them because they can't deal with the emptiness of you not being together so one way of you filling up that void that is already in that relationship is to get him involved in your day get him involved in all of the things you're doing there are practical ways you can keep things interested and to involve him in your day without you appearing like you're bombarding him with series of messages an example is if you just wake up you can take pick up your phone and send him a voice message that hi baby i just woke up from sleep today i'll be getting ready to go to work i'll talk to you during my lunch break when i'm at work then if it's a weekend and you're not working that day you can wake up while you're making breakfast you can take a picture of the breakfast and say hi baby i'm, I'm eating rice and chicken for breakfast today and i thought to send you a picture you put a catchy emoji and you send him a picture of that food sometimes if you're going out with your friends for other activities you can take a selfie right there send it to him or you take a video right there just say hello to him say i miss you just send him keep him as involved in your day as possible if there are changes if there are changes to your schedule if there are plans you've made involve him in your plans let him know all of the things you are doing that way he would look forward to seeing your messages because he knows you'll be sending him pictures of either what you're eating what you're cooking why you're going why you're going for a walk why you're going to a, the market all of those things we keep him interested in you because you're not just exchanging boring messages of hello good morning hello good afternoon hello good evening no five things up a little bit add pictures to read add videos send him selfies send him voice messages involve him as much as possible in all of the activities you're doing the second way of spicing things up in your long distance relationship is to prioritize him let him be the first person you're sharing your good news with if for example you want to change your job and you've informed him that you were going for an interview when you get the success email from the job tell him be excited and to have excitement in your voice you can do a video that oh my god baby i got the job i'm so happy or you just call him on the phone or send him a voice message and say, oh baby guess what i have good news and then you tell him he will be excited for you he will almost want to feel as if he's there celebrating in the moment because you're calling him with so much passion with so much joy so much excitement you're sharing it with him so when you have good news let him be the first person you're sharing your good news with when you have change of plans when you've made plans to travel let him be the first person you're involving in your plans of traveling to see your mom to see your sisters to see your friends let it not be that when he calls you he was expecting you to be at home and then you're in a very noisy place and you say ah where are you, you say oh i went out to an event with my friends without even letting him know remember when you're in a long distance relationship both of you are struggling to build trust both of you are struggling to build the relationship to end each other's trust so get him involved in all of the things you're doing so that even when he tells his family or friends about you and they discourage him telling him are you sure she's even 
trustworthy. She, he can bet that you are trustworthy because he will say, no, 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 this person is trustworthy. I know everything she's doing. I know when she visits her friends. I know when. So just get him involved as much as possible in all of your plans and all of your schedules and all of the activities you're doing. The third way of spicing things up is to go on virtual dates. Yes, you can still go on virtual dates even when you're in a long distance relationship online. An example of ways you can go on virtual dates is you can book a restaurant for the same time. Let's say 6 p.m. He will book his own local restaurant for 6 p.m. You go into the restaurant, you get dressed nicely, you do video calls. And when you get to the restaurant, you can order the same type of menu. You might not get exactly the same type of menu because it's two different continents. But you can order if you're eating pasta, you can order a meal made with pasta you can also order a meal made with pasta if you're having rice i'm sure rice pasta all of those are universal food in restaurant you can order something like that and then you do video call while you're eating it order a bottle of wine and you're drinking or a soft drink and you're drinking it together you're doing video call you will both be excited because you're all dressed up for the day you sat there you eat you pay for the date you take some videos together that's another way of spicing things up because when you have a special dates let's say you go on dates once in a month or you, you can also go to the movies once in a month you will book his local movies in his local cinema you also book movies at approximately the same time you go on this movie date together or you can even be at home you can do cooking dates together you can browse up a recipe online watch the youtube videos of how to make the food you will buy your own recipe who buy his own recipe and you then you do a little bit of competition of how to who we cook the best recipe we will get it as accurately as possible those are ways that you can spice things up another way of spicing things up you can do online games together some example of couples games are how well do you know your spouse he can ask you personal questions about him to see if you will get the answer you can ask him personal question about you to see if he will get the answer for example you can say what is my shoe size and he can guess if it's something you've told him he should be able to remember you can say was my favorite color what food do i like and then he will try to know because by this time you've been talking for so long you should be able to know the type of food you like for example we're doing this game how well do you know your, yourself gabriel and i and <laughs> i asked him one of the questions what food do i like and when i asked him that question he just ended up laughing 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 i said did i ask something funny <laughs> What did he, oh, did he not understand what I asked? Repeated my question. I said, what food do I like? I didn't say you should start laughing. He started laughing. I said, you should not ask me what food you like. Ask me, what food do you not like? Because you like all the food. <laughs> and he's correct i like all the food he has been cooking me a lot of things i've never eaten in my life like the last time he cooked me rice pie i've never had rice pie and then i still enjoy it so he knows i like all his recipe even if i've not had them before so that's a way of spicing things up that night i ended up laughing with him because i know he was right i like everything so i should ask him what food do i not like <laughs> not what food do i like so that's a way of um having online games another game Games you can play as a couple is for example names of countries for example you can you can teach him things in your language and see if you will remember for example if you teach him your language what is good morning what is good afternoon what is good night and then out of the blue while you're in the middle of conversation you can just say to him oh baby what is good night again and see if you remember in your language so that's a way even if he does not remember you just laugh about it joke about it but that's a way of spicing things up that means he will look forward to communicating with you he would want to move the relationship offline he wants both of you to get married to start living together because he's already excited being with you and he has seen that you are a whole bunch of fun and no dull moments while with you so he won't want to ghost you another very important tip is it's okay to be vulnerable if you're having all of these doubts if you're worried if you're skeptical if you're not sure if you will come it's okay once in a while to tell him all of these doubts you're having just be vulnerable around him let him be the shoulder you cry on if there are things you are not sure of there are things that is making you worry just tell him it's okay to cry show him your feminine side
side and let him protect you as the man in the relationship so sometimes it's okay if you're having doubts communicate openly and then you will have a chance to explain the next tip which is one of the most important tip is for you to always be sincere be very honest no white lies because when you're in a long distance relationship especially with someone you met online you're still trying to build trust the person is not sure if you're in the relationship for the right reason you are not even sure if it's in the relationship for the right reason so you please try to build a lot of trust in that relationship don't tell white lies an example of white lies is if he called you and you're you were at home or you're just stepping out to the next look nearby shop to buy bread if he calls you don't just say i'm at home tell him oh i was at home i just stepped out i'm currently on my way to the shop i want to buy bread because if you tell him you're at home and which to you you can be at home because you're just going down the next building on your street to just buy bread but by the time you get to the shop and you're engaging with the shop owner that please give me bread how much is the bread he will hear you and say oh you're not even at home sometimes he might not mention it but please be absolutely sincere don't tell any white lies another way of not telling white lies is if for example you're busy and he called you and you say oh babe right now i'm busy because i'm middle of work please i'll call you in 30 minutes if you know you might not be free to call him back in 30 minutes don't promise you'll call back in 30 minutes because if you don't call him back that's a way of not building trust because he might be expecting your call at 30 minutes and at the end of the day you won't call four hours later he will end up calling you and you say oh sorry i forgot it's okay to forget once in a while but please be intentional if you know there are chances you would forget get and not call him instead of saying i'll call you back in 30 minutes just say right now i'm really busy but please when i'm free i'll call you back in the evening evening can be any time from 4 p.m until 7 p.m so when you say i'll call you in the afternoon or i'll call you in the evening that will give you a longer range of time for you to return the call and not make him feel like you promised to call him in 30 minutes and at exactly 30 minutes he's expecting your call and you did not return the call another tip is to please prioritize him because you are still in a long distance relationship he's not sure if you are sincere about him if you're prioritizing him or if you have something else going on where you are so please prioritize him if he calls you try to return the call as soon as you can if he calls you even if you're busy you can pick and say quickly that oh i'm in the middle of work or oh i'm at work now can i call you back in the evening or can i return i'll send you a message in the evening or if he's calling you and you're tired you want to to sleep you can pick up and say oh i'm really tired i'm in bed now please can we talk in the morning that way he would know that you're still prioritizing him even when you're busy or even when you're tired another way you can make him not ghost you is to involve him in all the activities you're doing even if you're visiting friends carry him along involve him in you visiting friends even when you're with your friends if you're going for an event let him know you're going for an event and while you're at the event and you can take a video and short video and say oh by the way baby i'm enjoying this event i thought to just check on you and you send it to him that way you have something to look forward and above all be prayerful because even if you do all of these tips and be this best girl be this awesome girl you still need prayer so any religion you belong to just please pray to god to support it because at the end of the day it's only god that will make it happen thank you so much for watching and i wish you the best in your long distance relationship bye see you in our next video